Hello, today we're going to talk about Newton's second law. So Newton's second law states that when a net force acts on any body with mass, it produces an acceleration of that body, and the net force will be equal to the mass of the body times the acceleration of that body. Probably more familiar is the equation force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals MA. So with this formula, uh, we need to remember a few things. First of all, the F in this equation is going to be the net force, or the sum of all the forces acting on the object. So over here we've got an Apollo rocket. And the Apollo rocket's got about 7.5 million pounds of force pushing it up. That's the thrust coming out of the rocket. But that is fighting against 1 million pounds of weight. So there's only effectively 6 a net force of 6.5 million pounds going up. That's going to be our net force. If we know the mass of our rocket, uh, we can figure out the acceleration of our rocket as it goes up. Another important thing to remember is that these are all the force and the acceleration are vectors. So they have both a magnitude and direction. With the rocket, everything was going in the same direction, but if we imagine here a car, uh, the forces are going in somewhat different directions. So we've got two forces. There's a normal force in the tire. So tires supporting the car. We've got a gravity force pulling it down. Uh, and finally, if the car is accelerating, we've got a friction force right here that is pushing the car forward. If we add all those vectors together, we're going to get the uh, net force. And from the net force, if we know the mass, we can get the acceleration. So the net force is going to be pointing in this direction, and so is that acceleration. They're going to have the same direction. And we can tell that these our vector quantities in our equation because I've bolded these values. So force is bold, it's got a mass and acceleration, or sorry, it's got a magnitude and direction. Acceleration is bold, it's got both a magnitude and a direction. Uh, and mass is actually a scalar quantity. It has a magnitude but no direction to it. So in addition to the familiar F equals MA part of Newton's law, uh, there's also a rotational counterpart to this, uh, and that's going to be m equals i alpha, or the moment exerted on an object is going to be equal to the second mass moment of inertia, that's our value for i, that's a property of the body being uh, spun, such as that top over there, just like mass would be, uh, and alpha is going to be our angular acceleration. So if I know these three quantities, I can relate them just like I can for F equals MA. And it's important to note also, I've got bold for moment and this alpha value. Those both have a magnitude and a direction. So I can spin the top clockwise or counterclockwise. And really in 3D space, you have a, an infinite number of directions you can spin something. And so <clears throat> if I were to take this top, exert some moment, some twisting force on it, uh, it would get an angular acceleration there. So with that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.